Hey, you puppet. Have you thought about what you wanted to do for your birthday today? Of course I nuke you, Jason. I figured that we would all go to Discovery Zone, where I can cut loose and be on my own. Ah, uh, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but Discovery Zone has been closed for the past 20 years or so. There is a location in Cincinnati, Ohio, but I doubt Patty is willing to agree on such a long trip there. Plus it's a little different than the original places. Fuck! I was so looking forward to going there! And you know Daddy won't let us go to Chuck E. Cheese's on the account that you Elmo almost drowned in the wall pit. What a fucking dumbass. What are we to do? Maybe you can try and do that thing that Drew Pickles does and just jack off until your cum hits the screen and then a magical portal opens on the screen and you jump in and you arrive at your intended destination. And hey, there's a video of Drew going to Discovery Zone, so just time it right and you'll probably be there before him. Well, if Drew Pickles can go there, then so can I get the family. We're going to jump into the video and get to Discovery Zone one way or the other. Hello my good man, I am the Pew Muppet. And today I am here at Discovery Zone with my pubic family to celebrate my birthday today. And while we're at it, I might as well ask for a lot of very swell things to aid me in getting my sexual satisfaction. Especially today, because it is my birthday. And the birthday boy always gets what he wants. Anyway, the first thing I would like is a birthday room. But not just any birthday room, I would like a birthday room with lots and lots of gay male strippers. These gay male strippers also must be wearing tiny ass phones and be very hairy. They will give me lots of lap dances and this will make me so horny that I will have a massive orgy with them. Ooh. After that, my family will be getting ready for the party, and I will head to the DZ Diner to get some food, specifically some cake and pizza. Some this place actually served pizza when it was around. I will ask for a chocolate cake, but not just an ordinary cake. I would like a chocolate cake made out of the best and freshest fecal matter you have, drenched in the finest cum icing and topped with rainbow sprinkles, made of pubic dandruff and with penis shade candles that I will shove up my ass while they are still lit so that I can feel that burning pain. Oh, oh, burning pain. Oh, burning pain. Oh, burning pain. Oh, burning pain. As for the pizza, it needs to be made with an anal crust and anal blood, must form the sauce. Then the cheese needs to be the finest thick cheese, that smells like a rancid asshole and have penis pepperonis and testicle sausage on it. Oh, and both the cake and pizza, must be shaped like a penis too. And we would all like the finest mix of piss and cum to drink. That all sounds so yummy! After that, I will head back to the birthday room and see that everything is set up. My pubic family, which will consist of my brother Pube Jason, my brother and sex slave Pube Beaker, my brother and resident cook Pube Swedish Chef, my cousin Pube Nerd, my pet Pube Puppy, my retarded brother Pube Elmo, and my daddy Pube Cookie Monster, will all wish me a very happy birthday. And then once I show the candles up my ass and feel that burning pain, we can finally start the swell party! I will open all my presents, which will consist of all the swell escape pornos, dildos, and wet plugs, and then we will have a massive orgy with each other and all the gay strippers, and then proceed to devour all the food and use it as lube too. Ooh. After that, the family will go off on their separate ways across the establishment. I and my cousin Cube Nerd will head to the arcade. Since there are barely any pictures of what the arcade looks like bar this image right here, I would assume that they had a similar setup to Chuck E. Cheese, in that they had lots of games that give you like five tickets. I will be playing all these games and getting pissed off when I lose them, so I will piss on the games and turn them very swell. Cube Nerd will then want to test his skills out on Ski Wall, and I will get a very sexually satisfying idea and get into the Ski Wall ring and have Cube Nerd throw the walls into my asshole while I fuck all the holes and get so many tickets. Oh, and since ski walls are very hard, the pressure of them being thrown into my asshole will cause me to feel that oh so glorious and wall breaking pain. Oh wall breaking pain. Oh wall breaking pain. Oh wall breaking pain. Oh wall breaking pain. As a result, we will have a fuckload of tickets, approximately 6,900 to be exact, that we will use to get all the sexy, sexy prizes that can be used as dildos. After that, I would want to burn off the calories and go into the elaborate play area, getting horny at going in the tubes, as it reminds me of exploring a man's asshole. The other tubes are having an orgy in the wall pit, and I am about to join them when suddenly I hear a familiar voice in the distance. 
Being the curious little shit that I am, I would want to investigate, but I am quite distracted with my goals of sexual satisfaction, so I will go down this weird-ass Raleigh slide thing, where my cubes will get caught in the Raleigh bits. But I won't mind this, as I get turned on by the ripping pain. Oh, 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 ripping pain. Oh, ripping pain. Oh, ripping pain. And I will continue to do this until the slide is covered in so much of my wonderful pubic hair. I did need a trim, and now Daddy won't get on my ass for that anymore. It's a win-win situation. After that, I will head back to the arcade to investigate the mysterious voice I heard. As it turns out, it is none other than my most hated rival, Drew Pickles, who is accompanied by his annoying bitch of a daughter Angelica. I was expecting this, as I did jump into the Drew Pickles Goes to Discovery Zone video just so I can get here, but even so, I will not let this 300 mile long cocksucking faggot ruin my birthday. I will use my penis to smack Angelica into the stratosphere, and Drew will say, what the fuck? What are you doing here, cube muppet? You actually did me a huge favor. I didn't want to come a ha 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 ha, come to this piece of shit establishment, so I might as well head home and have an orgy with Arnie and Ronald McDonald the penis clown. But as he turns around to leave, I will trip him with my penis and say, oh, I don't think you'll be leaving just yet. You see, today is my birthday, and I would like to do something that I have been wanting to do for a long ass time. Drew will get pissed off and charge towards me, but I will stuff my cubes into his nose. The smell will be too much for him to bear, and he will pass out. And now this is where the fun begins. After that, I will drag Drew's and concise body to the wall pit with the other cubes anticipating this moment. For you see, we are gonna engage in a super duper pooper scooper swell cubic family gangbang! We will smother him with not only the walls, in the wall pit, but with our own very hairy walls. Then we will strip him ass naked and eat all his clothes, and I will eat his cum and piss and shit riddle underwear. So very tasty. And then we will start to viciously game bang him by fucking his ass and shoving his 300 mile long cock up our asses. Ooh. And then we will piss and shit and jizz all over him in the wall pit and then we would have accomplished what we have always wanted to do. But it won't be enough, as we decide to take a massive smelly dump all over Drew to finish the job. After that, my owner will still be wanting more, so after I exit the wall pit, I will encounter a robot. But not just any ordinary robot, I will encounter z -Op, the mascot of the establishment. He moves around and talks and he is making me oh so very horny, and since I always wanted to fuck a robot in its scare filled asshole, I will start to viciously rip him. I will thrust my penis into the slot on his ass and then use the weird thing down his head as dildos. Ooh. And as I cream into his ass, the mixture of cum and piss and poopy will cause him to short out and I get hit with that oh so glorious and shocking pain on my penis. Oh shocking pain. Oh shocking pain. Oh shocking pain. Oh shocking pain. After that, I will realize that I have like 6900 tickets that were given to me by cute nerd during our ski wall game. So in a hairy flash, I will dart to the prize counter and see what kind of prizes I can get. But not just any ordinary prizes, I would like some prizes that I can use as dildos or inflict great pain onto my penis. Oh! But just like Chuck E. Cheese and a lot of other similar places, they will have lots of cheap and shitty prizes that look like they came ha ha ha, came from China or really really stale candy that went past its expiration date. And all the cool fancy prizes, like a Sega Game Gear, or even a Nintendo 64, will be worth like a billion fucking tickets. Who the fuck was able to rack up enough tickets to get all those big fancy prizes? Well either way, I will use my tickets to get at least most of the mid-tier prizes, where I will use them as dildos, slam onto my penis to feel more glorious pain, and eat it, poop it out, eat it, poop it out again, eat it, poop it out again, and repeat the process over and over and over. Oh! Finally, after having the best birthday ever, the family and I will start having a massive orgy, and then we will all leave our scent across the establishment. Once we mark our territory, we won't find it enough, and we will continue to do more swell antics across the establishment, from fucking more z -Lock robots to turning the slide into a big poopy cummy water slide to putting actual testicles in the wall pit and going in the kitchen to let you sweet a chef cook more swell food and finally having a massive sausage fest on the prize counter. I will finally leave knowing that I have officially had the best birthday of all time, and I cannot wait to do the same thing again next year. Oh, that all sounds super swell. This is going to be the best birthday ever. 
I'm guaranteed sexual satisfaction too. So how about it, my good man? Care to let me and my pubic family celebrate my birthday? I'm sorry, sir, but we do not have a birthday room filled with gay male strippers as this establishment is meant for children. You can't have a chocolate cake made of shit or a disgusting pizza either, as that would be a health hazard. You also can't get onto the ski wall area and have a ski wall thrown at your ass, nor can you have a massive orgy with your family and some random guy named Group Pickles in the wall pit. You also can't fuck Z up and you can't use the prizes for disgusting things at our establishment, but you can do whatever you want with them when you get home. You are quite possibly the most disturbing and disgusting individual I have ever met in my years of working here. What the fuck? What kind of piece of shit establishment is this? All I wanted to do was celebrate my birthday here, but no. You have to tell me you have no gay male strippers among other things. It's no wonder you faggots went out of business in the first place. Just for that, you can fuck off and let me be. Hold on, dear Muppet. I have all those gay male strippers, they were up my ass. How did they even get there, in the first place? This raises so many questions. Well, at least I won't have to deal with that guy, on this day, couldn't get any worse. Hello, my name is Drew Pickles, and today I am going to Discovery Zone. Oh shit, 